can't believe it's been three years already. I miss you, Mom. I never forget you. Hello? Hey, Lily, what are you up to? I'm just visiting my mother's grave. So you need to find something else to do, and I don't mean just watching sci-fi shows or whatever. I mean actually doing something with your life. <sighs> Honestly, Anne, I'm fine. Okay, well, if you say so. Just seriously, find something to do. Okay. Just a minute! Hey, Lily, I've gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. See you later. Oh! Sorry, you startled me there. Well, I'm just gonna go. What? What? Uh, Lily? Lily? Come on, Lily, pick up! What are you doing here? Open your mind! I can't taste color! Head, shoulders, knees, toes, eyes. Oh, they're blurry! Oh, that's a little better. Ears, mouth, nose, hair. It's so fluffy! I like it, I like it a lot. <gasps> Legs. It's always something to get used to. What am I, like 20? Crash into Earth. Could have guessed. It's becoming a hobby. Okay. And America? That's new. I don't remember that being here. <gasps> Excuse me, are you all right? Hi, Jazz. What? Hello, I'm a doctor, by the way. Doctor what? That's not a common response. What's your name? My name's Ooh. Lily. Lily, I like that. <sighs> Are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. I just need rest. I just need rest. Got a place? Yeah, it's just... Fantastic! I need to lie down. Where is it? This way. This is a big house. 
Do you have a family? My mother used to live here, but she died three years ago. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's all right. Just... Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else you need? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you, Lily. I just need to sleep. Okay. Rest up. Is that what I look like? Not bad. Sexy. I can use some, uh, threads, though. Now that is choice. Whew. Lily? Lily, it's the doctor. Lily? Lily, I need something to eat. Lily? Earth to Lily! Earth to Lily! Fine, never mind. Just fall asleep on me, go ahead. No! No! Putting brain food. What? Like I said, I'm from the planet Gallifrey. I've been around for 4,000 years and I can travel through time and space in that blue box, my ship. So, you're like a real live alien? Uh, yes. Well, technically, you're just as much of an alien to me as I am to you. I suppose that is true. looking for. I mean, yesterday there was a giant spaceship in the sky, but today everything is just normal. Well, after doing this for so long, you see, when something seems normal, there's probably about a 95% chance that it's not. Oh, so you do this a lot, like run around and solve mysteries and fight aliens. I used to. Well, why not anymore? Let's just say that after so long, things happen. I may not be 4,000 years old, but I know a thing or two about bad things happening. And I promise, it gets better. Thank you, Lily. I suppose you're probably shy. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Come on. <laughs> wait! Wait! We are the greater of humanity. We are the greater of humanity. What do you want? Open your mind to the future of humanity. Listen, whatever you got going on up there cannot handle my mind. You must be updated. Updated? 
Exterminated, upgraded, updated. Why can you not think of better terms? We will update this world. We will update this world, and then we will update the universe. Everything will conform to a greater of humanity. The universe. Do you even know how big the universe is? I haven't even seen it all, and that is saying... You require an update. Wait, wait. You... You sound like you're a part of some kind of robot hive mind, but you're still human. Are you under mind control? You, you require, require an update. I just had an update, okay? I like it and I don't want to be part of your colony, wait, D heads. When did you... when did you get an update? You both require updates. You will confirm. Let's see what kind of alien tech is in those heads of yours. <sighs> hmm. Well, it's definitely alien, or it's from another time. So, what is it? Working on it. I think there's some kind of nanobots inside the brains. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Doctor, what did you do? I didn't do anything. I was just trying to figure out what was in their heads. There must have been some kind of safety features. If somebody tried to hack into the bots, they imploded, killing the host. Who would do such a terrible thing? Well, it seems like some kind of alien race tried to take over Earth by getting in the people's heads, controlling their minds, and making them do what they want. Do you think it was those aliens that showed up last night? Probably. Got a message. What is it? My friend, Anne. Oh no, they've got her. What? They've been to her house. Where did she She's live? She's calling for help. I'll show you. Doctor, what happened to her? She resisted, and they killed her. I'm so sorry. But she was my only friend. We have to figure something out. We cannot let this happen to anyone else. You require an upgrade. And you require a downgrade. Doctor, what'd you do that for? I'm done with death. Doctor, are you okay? I'm fine. What, what are you doing? Aha! Got it. Well, um, I'm trying to trace the signal. Uh, it's being broadcasted out to control the bots in those things' brains. Is there like a radio tower around here somewhere? Yeah, this one's just on the side of town. Come on, let's go. Ah, ah here we are. So is this where the signal's coming from? Didn't I just say that? I suppose so, but I'm just checking. Of course. There must be some sort of control center. Where's that? I uh, don't know. You're right, but there's got to be some kind of way that the control center is sending that signal to the tower to broadcast it. Just got to find out how. Wait, wait, doctor, look. What is it? I think you're fantastic. Thank you. Hmm. Definitely something. Maybe. What does it lead? We're about to find out, come on. Ow. Ah. I think we found the control center. Really? What makes you say that? <laughs> oh! Okay. Where did that come from? Well, now that you mention it, I don't remember it being there either. Hmm. Maybe it's not a building. Well, what else could it possibly be? 
well, you see there's the ships have this thing, well some of them have this thing called a chameleon circuit, which basically makes it blend in with the surroundings. My ship has one. That's why it looks like a blue box. Ooh, so that was your ship. Yep. Come on, let's find an entrance. Ah. Ah. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Not at all. That's comforting. Of course. What? What is it? Well, the mind control is reversible. Really? How? Um, well, basically, the mind control only affects the main thoughts in the head, so basically the subconscious is not affected, left unharmed, safe, all that jazz. So, what does that mean? Well, it means that back in the brain somewhere, they still have the ability to think for themselves. Okay, that's good and all, but how does it, how does it connect to the towers and alien and stuff? Well... The aliens used the ship to send the signal to the tower, which broadcasted it out into the city, into the little nanobots that they put in those people's brains, thus controlling their minds. So we can't, can we turn it off? Working on it. What is going on here? Hi, I'm the doctor. Uh, this is Lily. Hello. I'm guessing you're the guy in charge and all this? Why are you here? I was gonna ask you the same thing. Why are you here? Messing with all these innocent people. Is anyone truly innocent, Doctor? Maybe, maybe not. But these people are great. The human race is wonderful. They are always striving for greatness. My planet was destroyed and I'm here to claim this planet, using my nanobots to make these people the future of humanity. You're not the only one who's the last of their kind. Join the club. You can either conform and be enhanced and updated and become the future of technology or be destroyed. No. What is that? Who knows? Could kill you? Maybe not. Or I could just assemble a cabinet at you. You don't scare me, doctor. And if you won't listen, I'm just gonna have to take your friends. <sighs> Stop! Get off! It's too late, doctor. She's mine. Not on my watch. Oh, Ori, I just got that! Anyways, your systems are shut down now, so she should be back to herself momentarily. Oh, but you're wrong, Doctor. I'm the leader. Everything is linked to me. Her mind is my mind. Get rid of it. I'm not afraid to, but I will kill you if I have to. Alright, kill me. But everyone is linked, like I said. Kill me, she's dead too. Hang on there, Lily. I'll save you. Listen, Lily. I know you're in there somewhere. I'm going to help you. You just have to let me in. Open your mind to me, Lily. Doctor, is that you? You can't stop me, Doctor. Ah, so you're still here. Listen, I have an offer to make you. Doctor. I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord. I'm over 4,000 years old. My mind is so full of knowledge that you could rule the universe. What is your offer? You can either stay in this brain and die of old age, rot and become lost, or you can come into mine and live forever with endless knowledge. Ha! Huh. You're in. <sighs> yes, Doctor. You are now mine. Go ahead. See what I've got. What? Ha! What, what's going on? You fell for my trap. You just looked into the mind of the last great Time Lord. The oncoming storm. The one who has seen the creation of the universe and watched as time ran out. The death of stars and the destruction of planets. I burn in the center of time and I am the fear in the hearts of my enemies. I have seen so much. Lost so much. So many. 
and no one, and I mean no one, could possibly understand my mind. I'm the doctor. Ah! Stop the pain! Pudding brains. Doctor! Lily! You're okay. You you saved me. Oh yes, of course I did. But but how? Well you see, um I got into your brain, and then I got that thing to come into my brain, the alien, and he died under all the pressure. My mind is amazing. That's amazing. Well, yes, of course it is. Um, Lily, I saw your thoughts, and I know that you're lonely, and I know that you want to come, but I would ask you to come with me, but I can't. I can't lose anyone else. I'm sorry, but goodbye. taking this too. Doctor, wait! <sighs> Hello, girl. I saw your mind too. What? The door once open can be walked through in either way. You two are lonely. You lost someone and you're afraid. Don't be afraid. I lost everyone. My parents, my only friend. She was right. I need a hobby. Doctor. I'm coming with you. For both of our sakes. I suppose it couldn't hurt much. Um, yeah. Okay, what do I need to pack? How long will I be gone? As long as you like. I suppose we can stop by a place on the way out. Welcome to the TARDIS. It's, it's smaller on the outside. Pocket dimension? Yes, how did you... Never mind, never mind. Um, how about we just see if I remember how to fly the thing? Wait, remember how to fly this Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. Hopefully, just hold on to things. So, what do you think? Anywhere, anytime, all of time and space, right at the end of your fingertips. Why do you want to start? Hmm. Take me... everywhere. You know what they say? Time flies. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>